What's up guys, this is Alan, back again with another video. Today I have a Dell XPS 9560. Okay, so looking on Reddit and Google and NotebookReview.com, there seems to be some issue where when Windows 10 does a feature update or you just go ahead and reinstall Windows from scratch using some type of media. The trusted platform module 2.0 will no longer work. And this is on the XPS 9560 models. It might be a fix for the other XPS models as well. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely sure it works on the 9560. All right. So basically, I noticed when I got the laptop, I did a feature update and the TPM 2.0, the trusted platform module, uh, controller, chip, whatever you want to call it, cannot start. So if we go into device manager, we see a yellow exclamation mark next to the TPM 2.0. And basically, this device cannot start. A protocol error was detected between the driver and the device. Now, I noticed this, like I said, when I updated to the feature update 1803, I searched Google. Um, I already installed all the drivers available for the 9560. It did not fix the problem. Uh, I did a clean install. It did not fix the problem. So I finally found a solution that works and it's simply reflashing the latest BIOS available for your machine. Okay. So I installed all the drivers, assuming that you already clean installed windows or you updated windows, whatever you installed all the latest drivers, you still will have the trusted platform module 2.0 with an exclamation mark saying the device cannot start. All right, so we're gonna to go to the Dell support site. So just open up any browser you want. And let's go to dell.com. We click on support. And then we go to drivers and downloads. Now, I'm not going to enter my service tag. I don't want anyone to know my service tag, but I'm just going to choose uh, my product using the assisted method. So I'm going to go to laptops, XPS, and mine is the XPS 15 9560. Like, like I said, this might work for other XPS models. I'm not sure, but for the 9560, this works. So I click on 9560 and I already updated all my drivers, but the one we are interested in is the BIOS. So, you know, it might not be that I see the BIOS here, but to be a little quicker, you can filter out everything else on the category. Click the drop down arrow, click on BIOS. It only shows you a BIOS. Okay. So this is the latest BIOS here. As you can see, version 1.9.4 for the XPS 9560. And I'm going to download this. And I'm going to save it. All right, and we can just close that after it downloads. We can close that. Now, you do need to plug in your laptop. It will not do a BIOS update without you plug it in the laptop so let me do that now all right and that's plugged in and let's check device manager one more time as you can see tpm trusted platform module 2.0 is still bad and it cannot start all right so after we plug in the device we go to the download folder and we just run that BIOS update we downloaded. 
this utility will update the system BIOS, blah, blah, blah. We already know. Click OK. All right, it says confirm BIOS replacement. See, I already have 1.94 installed. But basically, the solution is just to reflash it and that TPM 2.0 module will be working again. So I'm going to stop the video here and I'm going to screen cap the BIOS install live on the laptop screen. Okay guys, here is where the BIOS is flashing. Nothing special to see. I'm just going to speed it up for you. And I'm back guys um, after that BIOS upgrade flash. Now, please forgive me for that horrible uh, quality for the screen cap of the laptop. I had uh, a 720p webcam, I took that off. But, you know, I just wanted to show you that I really did flash my BIOS. I'm not out here trying to make people brick their machines on purpose. I would never do that. Um, if you're going to attempt this solution, this fix, please make sure to download the correct BIOS for your model. My model is the XPS 159560. Yours might be different. So please check your model. <clears throat> and then once you have your correct model, head over to Dell.com, support, drivers and downloads, and please choose your correct model okay and let's check the device manager and boom the trusted platform module 2.0 is now working under security devices we have no error messages and it's good to go so we can use the bit locker or whatever other feature uh, Windows 10 uh, offers with use of the TPM 2.0 and that's all. So I thank you guys for watching this video. Any questions, please comment below. Thanks.